Passion Travel is a channel specializing in all things travel street food and subscribe if you like the content. Anjero. A type of savory, spongy pancake made from fermented dough, often served with various stews and sauces. Anjero, also spelled as, injera, is a type of flatbread that is a staple food in several East African countries, including Somalia, Ethiopia, Eritrea, and Djibouti. It is known for its spongy texture and slightly sour taste, which is achieved through a fermentation process. Anjero is often used as a base or side dish to accompany various stews, curries, and sauces. Here's how it's typically made. Ingredients. Teff flour, or a mixture of teff and other flours. Water. Salt, optional. Baking soda, optional. Instructions. Prepare the batter. In a large mixing bowl, combine teff flour with water. The ratio of teff flour to water can vary, but it's typically about 1 cup of teff flour to 1.5 to 2 cups of water. You can adjust the consistency to your preference, making it thicker or thinner by adding more or less water. If desired, you can add a pinch of salt for flavor. Some recipes also include a small amount of baking soda, which can help with the fermentation process. Ferment the batter. Cover the bowl with a cloth or plastic wrap and leave it at room temperature for at least 12 to 24 hours. This allows the batter to ferment and develop a slightly sour taste. The longer you let it ferment, the more pronounced the sour flavor will become. Cook the anjero. Heat a non-stick skillet or griddle over medium-low heat. Anjero is traditionally cooked on a special large, flat pan called a, mitted, in Ethiopia. Lightly grease the skillet with oil or cooking spray to prevent sticking. Pour a ladleful of the fermented batter onto the skillet and quickly spread it out in a circular motion to create a thin, pancake-like layer. Anjero is typically thicker than a crepe but thinner than a traditional pancake. Cover the skillet with a lid to trap steam and cook the top of the anjero without flipping it. This gives it its characteristic spongy texture. Cook for a few minutes until the top surface of the anjero is set and small holes form. The bottom should be lightly browned. Repeat this process with the remaining batter, adding more oil to the skillet as needed. Kanjiro. A thin, crepe-like flatbread made from a fermented batter of sorghum or millet, typically served with honey, ghee, or stews. Kanjiro, also known as, laho, is a type of sourdough flatbread that is a staple in Somali cuisine. It is similar in appearance to a pancake but has a slightly sour taste due to the fermentation of the batter. Kanjiro is often served with a variety of stews, sauces, and toppings. Here's how you can make traditional Somali kanjiro. Ingredients. 2 cups of all-purpose flour. You can also use a combination of all-purpose and sorghum or millet flour for a more authentic taste. 1 half teaspoon of baking soda. 1 half teaspoon of salt. 1 quarter teaspoon of sugar, optional. 2 cups of warm water. 1 half cup of plain yogurt. Oil or ghee for cooking. Instructions. Prepare the batter. In a large mixing bowl, combine the flour, baking soda, salt, and sugar, if using. Gradually add the warm water while stirring continuously to create a smooth batter. The consistency should be similar to that of pancake batter. Add the plain yogurt and mix well. The yogurt will contribute to the sourness of the kanjiro and help with the fermentation process. Ferment the batter. Cover the bowl with a clean kitchen towel or plastic wrap and leave it in a warm place for at least 6 hours or overnight. This allows the batter to ferment and develop its characteristic sour taste. The longer you let it ferment, the more sour it will become. Cook the kanjiro. Heat a non-stick skillet or griddle over medium heat. You can lightly grease the skillet with oil or ghee, but it's not always necessary if you have a good non-stick surface. Pour a ladleful of the fermented batter onto the skillet and quickly spread it out into a thin, circular shape using the back of the ladle or by tilting the skillet. The kanjiro should be thicker than a crepe but thinner than a traditional pancake. Cook for a few minutes until the edges start to lift and the bottom is lightly browned. There's no need to flip the kanjiro, it's only cooked on one side. Repeat the process with the remaining batter, adding more oil or ghee to the skillet as needed. Mukmid, dried camel meat, thin strips of camel meat that are sun-dried and seasoned with spices, making them a popular snack. Mukmid, also known as, hilab gogosh, in Somali, is a traditional Somali dish made from dried meat, often goat or beef. It is a popular and convenient way to preserve meat for extended periods, making it a valuable source of sustenance in regions where refrigeration is limited. Here's how mukmid is typically prepared. 
Ingredients. Lean meat, goat, beef, or camel. Traditionally, goat meat is commonly used. Salt. Optional. Spices like cumin, coriander, or chili powder for flavor. Instructions. Prepare the meat. Start by trimming the meat to remove any excess fat or connective tissue. Lean meat is preferred for mukmud. Cut the meat into thin strips or bite-sized pieces. This will help it dry more evenly. Season the meat. Sprinkle the meat pieces with salt and any desired spices. You can be generous with the salt, as it not only seasons the meat but also aids in the preservation process. If you're using spices, they can add flavor to the meat. Common spices used include cumin, coriander, and chili powder, but you can adjust the seasonings to your taste. Sun drying. Traditionally, mukmid is sun-dried. To do this, spread the seasoned meat pieces on a clean, dry surface, such as a flat rock or a tray. Place the meat in a sunny, well-ventilated area. The intense heat and sun will gradually remove the moisture from the meat. This process can take several days to a week, depending on the weather conditions. During the drying process, turn the meat occasionally to ensure even drying. Storage. Once the meat is fully dried and has a tough, jerky-like texture, it is ready for storage. Mukmid is typically stored in airtight containers or resealable bags to keep it protected from moisture and pests. Rehydration and preparation. To use mukmid, it needs to be rehydrated. One common method is to soak the dried meat pieces in water for a few hours or overnight. This softens the meat and makes it suitable for cooking. After rehydrating, you can incorporate mukmid into various dishes, such as stews, stir-fries, or simply fry it with spices and vegetables for a quick and flavorful meal. Mukmid is not only a practical way to preserve meat but also a versatile ingredient that adds a rich, meaty flavor to Somali dishes. It's an important part of Somali cuisine and a source of sustenance, especially in rural areas and nomadic communities. Fanharo Deep-fried dough balls, similar to donuts, often sprinkled with sugar or dipped in honey. Fanharo, also spelled, fanhara, is a popular Somali deep-fried snack that resembles donuts. It's a delightful treat enjoyed by people of all ages in Somalia and is commonly served during special occasions and festive celebrations. Here's how you can make fanhero. Ingredients. 2 cups of all-purpose flour. 1 half cup of sugar. 1 teaspoon of yeast. 1 quarter teaspoon of salt. 1 cup of warm water. Vegetable oil for frying. Instructions. Prepare the yeast mixture. In a small bowl, combine the yeast and warm water. Let it sit for about 5 to 10 minutes until it becomes frothy. This indicates that the yeast is active. Mix the dry ingredients. In a large mixing bowl, combine the all-purpose flour, sugar, and salt. Combine the ingredients. Pour the activated yeast mixture into the dry ingredients. Mix everything together to form a smooth, thick batter. The consistency should be similar to pancake batter. Ferment the batter. Cover the bowl with a clean kitchen towel or plastic wrap and allow the batter to ferment for about 1 to 2 hours. This fermentation process helps develop the flavor of the fanhero. Heat the oil. In a deep frying pan or pot, heat vegetable oil over medium-high heat. You'll want enough oil to submerge the fanhero. Fry the fanhero. Once the oil is hot, carefully drop spoonfuls of the fermented batter into the hot oil. You can use a spoon or your hand to shape them into circular discs as you drop them into the oil. Fry the fanhero until they are golden brown and puffy. They should float to the surface and expand as they cook. Use a slotted spoon or tongs to flip the fanhero over to ensure even cooking. Fry them until they are uniformly golden brown. Drain and serve. Remove the fried fanhero from the oil and place them on a plate lined with paper towels to drain excess oil. Fanhero is typically served warm. They can be enjoyed as as are dusted with powdered sugar for a touch of sweetness. Some people also like to dip fanhero in honey for added flavor. Fanhero is a delightful snack loved for its crispy exterior and soft, fluffy interior. It's a wonderful treat to make for special occasions or to enjoy as a sweet snack anytime you have a craving for something indulgent. Hilabari, grilled goat meat, skewered and grilled goat meat, seasoned with spices and hilabari, often referred to simply as ari, is a popular Somali dish consisting of grilled meat, typically goat or beef. It's a flavorful and beloved dish in Somali cuisine, and it's often served on special occasions and during festive gatherings. Here's how you can prepare hilabari. Ingredients. 1 to 1.5 pounds of boneless goat or beef meat. You can use a variety of cuts, such as sirloin or ribeye. 
1 onion, finely chopped. 2 to 3 cloves of garlic, minced. 2 to 3 tablespoons of vegetable oil. 1 teaspoon of ground cumin. 1 teaspoon of ground coriander. 1 teaspoon of paprika. Salt and black pepper, to taste. Fresh lemon or lime wedges, for serving, optional. Instructions. Prepare the meat. Trim any excess fat from the meat and cut it into cubes or thin strips, depending on your preference. Marinate the meat. In a mixing bowl, combine the chopped onion, minced garlic, vegetable oil, ground cumin, ground coriander, paprika, salt, and black pepper. Add the meat to the marinade and coat it thoroughly. Ensure that the meat is well coated with the spice mixture. Cover the bowl and let the meat marinate in the refrigerator for at least 1 to 2 hours, or you can marinate it overnight for even more flavor. Preheat the grill. Preheat your grill to medium-high heat. You can use a charcoal or gas grill, or even a stovetop grill pan if you don't have access to an outdoor grill. Thread the meat. Thread the marinated meat onto skewers. If you're using wooden skewers, be sure to soak them in water for about 30 minutes before threading the meat to prevent them from burning. Grill the meat. Place the meat skewers on the hot grill and cook for about 4 to 6 minutes on each side, or until the meat reaches your desired level of doneness. The cooking time may vary depending on the thickness of the meat and the heat of your grill. Serve. Remove the grilled meat from the skewers and arrange it on a serving platter. Hilabari is often served with fresh lemon or lime wedges for squeezing over the meat, which adds a bright and tangy flavor. It can be enjoyed as a standalone dish or served with rice, bread, or other side dishes of your choice. Hilabari is known for its deliciously spiced and tender grilled meat. It's a fantastic dish to prepare for gatherings and celebrations, and it's sure to be a hit with fans of grilled meats and Somali cuisine.